The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is a small phone packed with a lot of features and we're going to show you how to get the most out of it. Tip number one, improving battery life. With so many features packed into this small device, it's understandable that battery life might not be the best around, but there are ways to quell that. First off, if you go to the notifications panel, turn off everything you don't use, things like NFC, screen mirroring, S-Beam, other features like that. All of these consume power, and if you're not using them, it's just wasting battery. The second thing you can do is, because of the QHD AMOLED display on the S4 Mini's front, choosing a black wallpaper, that's a true black, not just fake black or black imagery, actually lowers power consumption. To do that, find a blank area on one of your home screens. Press and hold, and choose set wallpaper. From here, choose home and lock screens, and then choose the set wallpaper option by pressing menu, and then use the on-screen crop tool to size your home screen layout to within the black area on your image. Then simply hit done, press the home button if you're not back on the home screens, and you'll notice then all of your home screens on the lock screen and any of your main screens are completely black. This will improve your power consumption, and make your battery last that little bit longer. Tip number two, lock screen widgets. As the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini runs Android 4.2.2, as well as the host of features Samsung has included on the phone, Google have also included a host of new features too, including lock screen widgets. By default, this feature isn't enabled, so to access it, you have to go to the settings menu, tap the My Device tab at the top, then tap Lock Screen, and then tick the Multiple Widgets box. Then go back to your lock screen and swipe down from the clock or welcome message you have at the top of the screen downwards. You'll then notice a pane briefly appear. This now means you'll be able to swipe left and you can then add lock screen widgets. Tap the plus in the middle and then choose from the list of widgets that appears in the menu. You can have things like emails and even the watch on remote control accessible right from the lock screen. Simply tap the widget you want and then it appears. And that's how to get lock screen widgets. Tip number three, silence touch sounds. One trait that Samsung seems to put on every one of their latest smartphones is the inclusion of touch sounds. This means that whenever you press the menu or back keys or open an application, you'll hear this annoying sound, and it happens all the time. Thankfully, you can turn this off, and to do that, all you have to do is go to the settings menu, go to the My Device tab at the top, open the sound menu, and simply untick the touch sounds option at the bottom. Tip number four, quick pick. Samsung likes to replace a lot of the default apps that stock Android comes with with its own flavor on the same service. In this case, we're looking at the Gallery app, which on the latest version of all of the latest S4 devices seems to be quite sluggish. Thankfully, we found an alternative, but there are loads to choose from in the Google Play Store. We've chosen quick pick. We chose quick pick because it is one of the fastest galleries around and it also has a host of extra little options just to make it a bit easier to browse your photos and videos. Once you've downloaded the app, your pictures will automatically be loaded in the gallery viewer. You can change the view type by pressing the canvas icon up in the top right. You can use stack, grid, and list, with the option for Explorer to browse files possibly stored on your micro SD card. There's also a quick link to the camera in the top right hand corner. QuickPick is free to download from the Play Store and it's available now. Tip number five, camera modes. Speaking of the camera, the 8 megapixel shooter on the back of the S4 has a really great UI and the automatic mode can take some really fantastic shots, but it's worth playing around with the extra features that Samsung have included on the phone. Now by default the camera is set to shoot in auto, but if you press the mode button underneath the shutter on the right hand side, and you'll notice a whole host of other modes with a description of what each mode does as you scroll through the menu. You can scroll up and see each mode one by one, or if you press the grid icon in the bottom left, you can see an overview of all 10 shooting modes available on the S4 Mini. It's worth trying each mode out, such as rich tone HDR for shots that really pop, and night mode for nighttime cityscapes.